I'm going to be replacing the starter rope here today on this really nice snapper that I got as a moving sail into 2016. This is the Intec 6.75 overhead valve engine. Really great engine. And this is a self-propelled mower and it's got a throttle. And as you can see, this rope is at the point where it's almost going to break. It's really got in really bad condition here. And I'm also going to replace the side chute. This is not the correct side chute for this lawnmower. It should have this little pulley here, which will redirect this rope away from the bag. And that's the reason why this rope has gotten into the condition it's in. It's been rubbing against this bag. This is the original owner's manual of this snapper, which shows it didn't have a bag or side chute. So I'm pretty sure this was added later, but they didn't put the correct one on there. And this is another picture in the owner's manual showing this snapper with a bag and you can see it has this type of a chute with a pulley on there redirecting that rope away from the bag. And this is my easy speed snapper that has the correct side chute and correct bag on it just to show you how this rope looks redirected away from the bag and this rope is still in good shape. We're going to make this one look just like that easy speed. And here are your starter rope options if you're going to replace them. You can buy these little starter handle kits at your local hardware store. This particular one is 88 inches of cord, number four and a half nylon cord. I don't like these handles that come with them, so I never really use them anyway, but these kits will fit pretty much any lawnmower, except you may run a bit short on snapper because of that side chute I'm going to replace. This is the same cord. This is 100 feet, so we're going to use this today. This is about $12 online, US dollars, and this is anywhere from $6 to $9 at your local hardware store. I prefer to use the original equipment handles on, on these lawnmowers, be it Briggs & Stratton, Honda, or Kohler. They're just more comfortable versus these that are supplied in this kit. So let's get started here removing this cover to get to the starter recoil. For safety, we're going to pull the spark plug boot off. Always a safe thing to do. To get that out of the way. And then we're going to remove this little decorative cover here. This will give us access to the bolts that remove the gas tank from the blower housing. And there are also some cover bolts up front. I'll have to remove the dipstick tube and there are a couple of bolts in the back of this cover as well. And I'm also going to go ahead and remove this side chute and the bag so I can get access to these gas tank bolts in the back because we're going to replace this side chute anyway. And this side chute has three bolts. They're all half inch. Got two on the outside. There's one also on the inside that the side chute slides in and then you tighten that down to keep it in place. So that old side chute is off. I did a quick test fit to make sure it indeed would work and it will. So now we can begin taking this cover off. So there are three gas tank bolts that will have to come off. They're here. They're 5 16 inch in size. And we have one 3 8 inch bolt here, if that comes out, underneath the gas tank. And then we can get this gas tank out of the way of the recoil here. And now we have the gas tank out of the way, where I can get access to these two 3 8 inch bolts here for this cover. There's a bolt here holding this dipstick that will have to come out. And there are two 3 8 inch bolts in the front cover. All four cover bolts are out now, and now we need to remove this dipstick tube because it's on the cover as well. This is a 5 16 inch. And the dipstick tube is off. We're going to put this back in after we remove the cover. And I need to remove the rope from the rope hook up here, and this cover will be ready to come off. It's just a matter of getting it under this little connection here, and this will recoil back in. 
remove that little decorative cover now too. And this cover should pull straight off. Good time to do this when there's not a lot of gas in the tank or none at all. It should just lift straight up. And there we go. There's our recoil. And we'll give an opportunity to clean everything off here. It looks really clean for the age of this lawnmower. I'm sure this rope has never been replaced. And this is our recoil here. It looks like it's in really good shape, very smooth. We just need to replace the rope. So now I'm going to extract all the rope out of this recoil. And then I can lock it in place with a pair of vice grips. And I need to get this rope lined up where the hole is so I can get the new rope in. So now we have the rope extracted all the way out and I got a vice grip locking this recoil in place and this rope right here. Just need to pull it out so we can cut the end of this off and then we can put our new rope in place. And we pull the rope up and we're just going to cut this end off. There we go, now we can just remove the old rope out from the recoil. And now we can do the reinstall of the new rope. And you can see the new rope and the old rope here. They look like the same size. The worst part of this rope was up around where the bag area is at. It's about ready to break. So now we're going to feed the new rope into this hole here. Everything should be lined up where it will come out of this hole where we can tie a knot on it. And now we're just feeding the new rope in. There we go. Got everything lined up. Get a pair of pliers here. Pull this rope up. And now we can put a knot in this. And now we're just going to put a knot in this. And we'll pull this really tight with a pair of vice grips as well. And I cut the extra rope off here as well and used a lighter. just to burn and melt the end of this a little bit so this rope won't come apart. Now we're ready to recoil this back in. And I still got this rope on the spool. We're not going to cut this yet until I get the rope on the rope hook and get everything sized to put the handle back on. And we're just going to slowly recoil this back in with a new rope so we can get this nice and tight. And then we're going to Keep doing that, pulling it in and out for quite a while here to make sure we got all the slack out. And we got our new rope in. So we're now ready to put the recoil back on the snapper. I still have this full of rope attached. Keep that attached until we get everything sized up here, this rope hook. So let's get this cover back on, then we can get our side chute back on. And the cover is back on, just did the reverse assembly, got the gas tank back on. Now let's put the correct side chute on here so we can size up our rope. So now we have a better idea how to size this rope. We got the new cover on. I can't put this little decorative cover on because this rope handle will have to go through here first, which I haven't cut this rope yet. So we're going to get this sized and get this handle on here. And this old handle, you just have to fish out this old line and you also have to cut this knot off of it as well. And the new rope is installed with the correct side chute. Got just enough tension in here where it will keep the handle up on the hook and you just tie a similar knot inside here as you do within the recoil. Nice, clean, neat job. Let's put the spark plug boot back on and give the snapper a start with the new rope. And let's get the spark plug boot back on here. And we'll give it a little
little bit of prime. It's got a little bit of gas in it. We've got lots of wind and a little bit of rain coming. So let's see if we can give this snapper with this new rope a start here. Handle tied back, give it a little bit of throttle. And for a start with a new rope. Here we go. And this completes our rope replacement on the snapper here. You can see the old rope here. This wouldn't have lasted much longer before it had broken and it had been a harder job to replace in that recoil. And this is our new rope. And it's got the correct tension on it. We also replaced this side chute. The side chute has this pulley here that redirects the rope away from the bag so it's not touching anything. This rope should last a long time. This is the old side chute here which did not have this pulley on here at all. And we replaced this with number four and a half, nine sixty-fourths inch diameter nylon cord. You can get this spool online, 100 feet, or you could buy those little kits as I was showing as well.